What is going on guys, welcome back to another episode on the Chaos Craft server and last episode we got the village, oh my god there's a zombie over there, I saw you zombie, last episode we got the villagers in my house and it took a little while, uh, yeah, um, need these villagers for the little village, subscriber village that we're going to be doing outside in this area over here and I asked you guys to give me some suggestions for my little village like build me some houses and your got your house will be in my village and you guys built some awesome houses on the fan server it's crazy some of them are really good and the fact that they are really good left me with a little bit of a predicament because I said to you guys I wanted a modern or a rustic kind of medieval village and I'll let you guys decide and I'll pick kind of like the best builds it's gonna go around in this area here somewhere that's why I got the villages because once I've got the village built I'm gonna move them over in here so yeah I was gonna decide it on the builds that you guys built um, and I was gonna pick the best ones and I went on the fan server the other day alpha built a really nice little modern house but then there was a really nice rustic house and I cannot decide what style I want the village to be Oh, do I want it to be a modern village or do I want it to be a rustic village? I think rustic village has been done so many times, but it looks good. A rustic village looks good, and I think it suit kind of suits the style of a Minecraft village. But a modern village has never really been done. But then again, some people argue that little modern houses don't look like village houses. So I'm not sure. You guys, let me know in the comments about what style village you want me to do. Go on the fan server and do slash warp village, and you will see the the houses people have built you guys can build houses as well to uh, give your ideas into the village too but we're not going to start on that yet that's a future project we're going to get done it's just nice to get some of the ideas in these are the rails that I used to get the villages in when last episode 2 I asked you guys about naming the cow up there and some of you guys gave some crazy names um, I kind of just picked one at random so I'm going to try and make my way up there I haven't got, I forgot some data yet I'm going to make my way up there and we're going to name this cow. But I'm not sure if it, uh, you guys will be able to tell. I have got a new microphone. Now, I didn't get this microphone by choice. <laughs> I was kind of forced to get it. Before I had the Turtle, Turtle Beach X11s. Yeah, that's what I had, Turtle Beach X11s. And I was wearing them one day on Skype. I was just talking on Skype. And the wire kind of got caught by my foot. And I kicked the wire. And it like jolted my head and just the side of the headset like snapped off and I couldn't wear it and I record a video every single day so I need a microphone and I didn't have time to go and get like because I was thinking should I just get a uh, blue blue yet blue yeti yes because everyone's got that and I know they're really good quality should I just go and get a blue yeti um but I didn't have time because I had to just go to the local store and just go and get a new headset and I've got the Turtle Beach X12 because I know they work good well, I don't want you to get down, cow. I know my Turtle Beach X11s were fine. I really liked them, so I got went for the X12. Um, let me know what the audio quality is like. If you didn't notice any difference, just say I didn't notice any difference. Um, yeah, um, I I think they're okay. They're a little bit uncomfortable. I don't. I thought the X11s were a bit more comfortable around my ears, but this one's a bit a bit more stiff and rigid, and it's hard, a bit hard to get used to. But let's name this cow. Let's put the sign here. If I let go of shift, I'm gonna fall. I think. Right. This cow, I picked a name out of random in the comments because there's so many names, and we are going to call this cow Trevor. Oh, I was thinking how to spell Trevor then. <laughs> Trevor the cow. I just picked that name at random because there were so many crazy names. This cow is called Trevor, and you're going to stay there forever, Trevor. Forever, Trevor? I'm, I'm from like Kanye West, I'm a rapper. <laughs> you're going to stay there forever because you never moved. You've been there the whole time. This is where you live, Trevor. You stay there. Right, so, whoa, I fell. So, uh, lucky I've got Feather Falling Boots. Uh, right, well, so what are we going to do in this episode? We are going to plan out some of the sugarcane farms. And that's another thing I asked you guys to do. I'm asking you guys to do a lot, aren't I? I'm so bossy. <laughs> Don't tell Sia I said I'm bossy because she would disagree. But anyway, um, yeah, I asked you guys for, for some ideas. Whoa, <gasps> you killed my... Ugh, I'm gonna kill you, skeleton. You killed my snowman. No, get away. Die, die. You don't deserve to live. Where? Yeah, you die. Ugh, another snowman dead. Oh my god, where are all these mobs coming from? 
anyway, let's get back to that. I asked you guys for some sugarcane farms, and pretty much all of you gave me the same idea of a sugarcane farm. Basically, pistons just pushing off the sugarcane. Um, yeah, I pretty much had the same idea myself. I was kind of looking for something like I haven't seen before, if you know what I mean. Something that's really compact, but I don't think you can get much out of a sugarcane farm other than that if you want it to be automatic. Um, I don't think I've got any sugarcane whatsoever, so I might have it here. Yeah, I do. Right, what do I need? I need the blocks for this. Um, uh, what did I get? I got sticky pistons. I need redstone dust. I've got that. I need some repeaters. Oh, got some repeaters there. I need tor redstone torches, which I don't have, so let's get another one of these. I need a bucket of water, which I don't have either, so let's get the buckets. And a button. Do I have a button? No, I don't. Right, let's go and make this button. Yeah, so I was I was testing a few of the. Oh, my phone's ringing. I was testing a few of the um, designs that you guys showed me, and there's one little problem which I'm going to show you when I get up there. I'm just double checking. I've got everything that I need. Um, I need the water, so yeah, that's good. Oh, redstone torches, so I need sticks. Yeah, there's a little bit of a problem. I think we're going to have to make the farm a little bit more compact. It's too wide because you have to remember I'm going to put a... I don't know why this dog keeps growling. Calm down, Ollie. I was going to call you Oliver then. That means I'm really mad at you if I call you Oliver. Ollie, calm down. But yeah, um, the farm's too wide. You have to remember I'm going to have a cactus farm next to it. So it, it kind of has to be pretty compact. So I don't know if that's going to change some of your designs for it. Um, I need to still work on a design that I like. I haven't done any more in this area for the wheat farm and stuff. I'm going to get that started maybe on Sunday. Um, yeah, but let's go up here and I will show you the basic design which everyone sent me for a sugarcane farm. But I we can't really do this design because it's just it's too bulky for this area because I need a cactus farm like here you see like they, they them two farms fit nicely in that area I need something that's going to fit nicely in here so we need to go I oh don't know this needs to be dirt do I have enough dirt I don't think I do but we need to go um, out I think it's eight blocks because we're all around eight blocks so one two three four five six seven eight Block there, like this, and I didn't get any water. And I always forget something every single episode. I'm always forgetting something that I need. Let's go run down, get some water, and then I can show you the sugarcane farm. I don't know why I always do it. Every single episode, I say, Right, I'm going to prepare myself of everything I need. And you know what I did in this episode? You know when I was stopping to go, Oh my god, there's a how is stuff spawning down here? That creeper's gonna explode, I know he is. Alright, dealt with him. Let's get this guy. Come on, creeper. Whoa, not back for the win. One more, you should be dead. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get this water. Yeah, I, I, even when I was stopping to get all that stuff over there, I wrote down a list just so I wouldn't forget. And what did I forget? I still forgot the water. Don't know what's wrong with me. Can't, I'm just terrible at preparing for this stuff. Right, let's get the water and let's show you guys the basic idea. This isn't going to be the final farm, far from it, because I think we need to come up with a slightly better idea. So the water is going to be running down there. There's going to be ice underneath this water, so it runs uh, harvest a lot faster, so it gets down to that. And then obviously, we're, oh, oh, one sec, guys, phone's ringing. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Someone's desperate to get hold of me. Calling my mobile and then calling the house phone. It's crazy. Anyway, back to this. There's going to be ice underneath there, and then obviously we are going to put sugarcane under oh on on here and it's gonna be like this and then the majority of you that sent me farms in um you basically just had pistons pushing the top row and the second row off down here but my only problem is this direction fine I can put as many stuff as I can because I can just dig in that direction problem is this side because it's gonna be quite bulky we're gonna need to have pistons pushing these off but when you when pistons push off the sugarcane it goes a bit glitchy so you need blocks instead of pistons then you need the pistons pushing the blocks if you know what I mean actually let me um what am I gonna do here 
let me put a block there and then I'll put the pistons down not the block down because that would make more sense because how the hell was I going to place the pistons so let me get the pistons out so the pistons are going to go like here and they have to be sticky because we're using blocks now a lot of you did it with regular pistons but I was doing some research uh, using regular pistons and not using any blocks the entities of the blocks kind of glitch out like the entities glitch out into the pistons because the part where the piston pushes out is is considered a transparent block or something like that I'm not too sure but that's what I read and it seemed to be true that they were glitching out into it but I'm going to have to get rid of these because it's bugging me yeah so it's going to be something like this and this is fine to do on that side because I've got as much space as I can use there because I can just dig out into the thing but that is going to be like that pushing the sugar cane off and then this is going to be like this and obviously this is going to be on both sides, I'm not going to do both sides now but that's going to be pushing, see like that one's grown there, it will push it off and it will go into the water streams, fine that works perfectly and the redstone is the problem because it needs to be quite big, we have blocks up here like that and then we will have blocks like this then we will need repeaters going into these blocks this is the problem guys this is where it's going to take a lot of space because it's going to be this in there like that and that should power both both uh, pistons like that and then what we're going to need we're going to need repeaters maybe I'm not doing this the most efficient way maybe you guys can show me a more effective way of doing this but this is the only way I kind of figured out from all your designs that you guys sent me but yeah it's gonna have to be like that and then you need to power these pistons so you need to put another block here so let's put that in there too all right and can you see the problem guys it literally goes all the way over to the cactus farm see that row there this is where the cactus farm stream is going to go so this is just it's too big maybe I've done that wrong maybe it can be more compact I'm not a hundred percent sure you guys I'm not the you guys gonna have to show me because I'm not the best with redstone so if this can be more compact where they where it pushes both pistons out and stuff like that it's, this is just too bulky um, maybe there's a clever one where it goes straight up kind of similar to these I'm not sure but that was the basic idea that a lot of you sent in for the sugar farm um, sugar cane farm and it's just it's just too bulky and I'm not blaming any of you guys because I pretty much had the same idea and when I tested it out it's just it was too big for this area because you're gonna stack it up and it's, it's too big I'm wondering if there's a smaller and more efficient one I guess with less materials I don't know well, I'm gonna have to do more research about this and try and get it done um, I haven't got a lot of time today guys so I'm not sure how long this episode is gonna be you guys heard my phone ring twice people are after me I've got to get out. Um, I do like doing these midweek episodes though, they really are enjoyable. Let me check how long I've been recording for. Uh, nearly 15 minutes, so I think I'm going to call it an end of an episode soon, guys. Sorry about this, it's just today, Wednesday, it's been busy after work, and uh, just I've just got something to do after the video today. I kind of was debating whether to not do an episode because I knew it had to be quick, and um, yeah, I knew it had to be quick, but I thought, nope. I'm sticking to my schedule. I promise you guys I was going to stick to my schedule and I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick to my one video a day schedule. Let's harvest this. One video a day is scheduled. So when I get some more time, I'm definitely going to start working on my let's build. Oh, I've got a stack of melons there. That's brilliant. This melon farm works perfectly. Love it. Let's get the pumpkins too. Yeah, but guys, if you can uh, give me some different ideas. I'm going to do a lot of research coming up over the next couple of days, seeing if I can find a more compact sugarcane farm one way harvest it with um, pistons oh one thing I was thinking I just want to show you guys you see where I've done this side here I was thinking what if I just have just one row of sugarcane and stack it up just on the left side and just have the pistons on this side and no pistons on this side so get rid of all this sugarcane here all these pistons and just flip that round and have it on the other side so it's just pushing down one row that's one way I could do it that was the only way I could think kind of need to do a bit more research into it 
But yeah guys, we need to go and do an enchant and I read in the comments that level 15 is a good level for silk touch. So let's try and get that this time. I think I had a pick in here. Last time I did. Let's go and check. Um, yeah, I do have a pick. Diamond pickaxe. Right, let's try and get level 15 for silk touch and see. Oh my god, where are all these creepers coming from? Has, has someone tried to prank me or something? Have they removed all the lights around my house? It doesn't seem dark. I'm going to have to go around light soon and check for block lighting. You know, there's glowstone in there. There was never this much creepers in here before. Where are they all coming from? Oh, I need to check the lighting in this house. Let's go and try and get a level 15. I think I'm going to need quite a lot of torches for this, to be honest. Let's try that. 16. Oh, someone, I swear they said 14 and 15. And I need a silk touch axe to um, get my bookshelves back. Because I don't want to lose my bookshelves. I don't think I've even got a silk touch axe, have I? Nope. Um, I'm going to have to go for 16. I feel like that's kind of a waste of a pickaxe, though. Oh, let's try it. Level 16. Let's do it. I'm breaking through. Yeah, that was a waste. Ah, <sighs> Silk Touch is going to evade me for the rest of my life. I'm never going to get it. Never going to get it. <gasps> nope, you didn't see that, guys. You did not see green sheep, green sheep in there. That might be giving away something. You did not see green sheep. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to call this episode... Uh, for for today, um, yeah, it's been <laughs> quite a short episode, guys. I've got things to do today. I'm tr just doing my best to try and get an episode up for you today. Um, try and give me some ideas for my sugarcane farm. Need a more compact one. Go on the fan server, build me some more village houses. I'm going to start picking one. I really like Alpha's modern one, so if you can do similar styles to that as well. Or I, there's another rustic one on there. I'll go on the fan server soon. I'll, I'll leave a sign by the two that I like. So you guys know. Maybe we can we can all collaborate and follow that style. And kind of build a really nice village for the outside of my house. And put our two villagers in there. Maybe I should name these two. Because these are like. I know they're two men. But these are like Adam and Eve. They keep changing race. Like when I logged in earlier. You were white. And you, you were black. And now he's black. And they're both black. They keep changing race, it's crazy, but you two are like Adam and Eve. You are going to start my village family. It's going to be perfect. And it kind of seems wrong saying this to two men, but one of you's got to be Eve. And I, maybe you, because you've got the apron on. You can be Eve. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you again in another video.